Hello everyone, my name is Christian Eschbach, and welcome to another one of my album reviews. My buddy Drew recommended this album. This is Giraffe Tongue Orchestra, Broken Lines. Interesting album cover there, that's kind of nifty. Um, three man band. I don't know much about the band, sorry, that's what the little screen is for, popping up information right now. Uh, I do know that this would be constitute, would constitute, I believe it's a super group, because it is made up of members from other bands. Uh, let's get into this one. All right. Uh, album opens up with a di adapt or die. Now, because I'm a fan of the band Death From Above 79, uh, this one, I really dig it. I really get into it. It really lights the album up, gets the fire going. It's got a great chorus in it. But the problem is it right away lets you know this album is not going to be for everybody. And right away, I'm going to start letting you know there's also certain little issues that come up because of this. Uh, from there, we go into Crucifixion. Really great arrangements, really proggy vibe without being 10 minutes long. However, it's a little too much after the last song because it is kind of erratic and kind of in your face kind of thing. And then it keeps going with that when you get into No One Is Innocent. And it's at this point where it causes me to tune out. Um, it's just been so erratic. And, kind of like, and the drumming, I don't like the drumming. I don't. Um, when you get in the crazy drumming that just sounds erratic for the sake of crazy drumming that just sounds erratic. Yeah, it's still holding the tempo. But is it really? Is it really? Um, no matter what, this is actually, when it comes to knowing it is innocent, even, even if it was the first song on this album, I would not like this song. Uh, it's just not a song that works for me. The choruses on it are really kind of cool, but the rest of it sucks. Then we go to Blood Moon. I really dig this song, and this song really should have been, like, either track two or track three, just to help split it up a little bit, uh, from the erraticness. Uh, this one is a little bit different. It definitely has a danceable groove in it, which is really nice. Uh, it's not er erratic and angry sounding in the slightest. And I hate to say it, but man, you put this in the right mix, you won't get your thing on to this one. That's how much good groove it's got. Um, Blood Moon is the first song on the album I actually really kind of dig into. Um... Then you get Fragment and Ashes. I'm not a fan of this one. Uh, you got Back to the Light. Reminds me of something from the 90s. Uh, I just don't remember what song it was from the 90s. It doesn't do too much for me. All we have is now... Normally I'm not into slower songs. This one really works for me though. Uh, kind of like Rush. Slower kind of track. But sounding a little more Finger 11-ish. You know? Uh, Finger 11 is Death From an Above 79. Finger 11 and Rush really kind of are the bands that come to mind a lot with this. But not at the same time. It's kind of weird. Um, everyone gets everything they really want. Um, totally dig this song. Great riffs. Uh, very get down and boogie kind of tune. I mean, this has got some real street strutting when I listen to it on the mp3 player as i'm going down the road just like yeah then the last two songs on the album they kind of man you got thieves and horrors which just doesn't do anything for me and then you got broken lines which i really start liking the song at the three minute and 12 second marker and i think from the three minute and 12 second or three minute and 10 second marker to the end of the song it closes out the album beautifully the three minutes and nine seconds leading up to that it, it is what it is. Um, this is not an album I would go out of my way to listen to regularly. Uh, everyone gets everything they really want. And Blood Moon definitely would go into mixes. Adapt or Die might even go into a mix as well. I really kind of get into the chorus on that one. And I think it's really singable. Um... But that's kind of it for me on this album. Uh, not that it's a bad album. Sorry. Not that it's a bad album. It's just the erraticness to it 
is just a little too erratic for me. It's not... I like my proggy a little better structured. Not jarring changes and bangy drums. The drums are really kind of what puts me off on this album a lot. A lot. Which is weird, right? You know, you think. Anyways, folks, um, that's, yeah, that's, that's all I really have to say about this album. Those are my thoughts, my views, my opinions. Let me know what you think. Have you listened to this album? Uh, what would you recommend from any of the guys in this album? Would you recommend anything from any of the guys in this album? I don't know. I'd like to know. Tell me what you think, though. That is what the comment section is for. On your way down, you'll see the link to Patreon in the uh, description. Uh, there is a like button, describe button, or like, describe button. Like button, a subscribe button, a bell for notifications. Uh, there's buttons for Rumble if you're watching there. And if you are over on uh, Locals watching this, it's... Wow. How? Well, I got around to it, I guess. Peace. Love. Take care.